obviously it's still quite early in the process, and I think I've said this before, but this is actually a much larger undertaking than I ever thought it would be. It got more and more complicated every week because we wanted to do a good job of fleshing out every little aspect of the project. This, along with trying to advertise and then editing the videos while also having a somewhat busy life for the first few weeks that we started uploading, I was forced to stay up till the wee hours of the morning to pump out a couple episodes at a time so we could stay on schedule. But I've only missed one blog so far, and maybe I'll make that up sometime. I don't know. When I first came up with the idea, it seemed like I was really excited about it. But more than two months later, I can't help feeling I'm not as excited as I once was. And this happens quite often. I work on something for a little while, then stop because I run out of enthusiasm. It's happened with my writing, drawing, my past attempts at video editing, basically anything artistic. And I don't know why. I like the idea of doing things, but when it comes to actually doing the work, I realize it's difficult and just kind of give up. But this time around, I'm working with two other people, so it's a group mentality thing where I don't want to let the others down by not doing my duty. I'm experiencing firsthand the shift from an activity being a hobby to being actual work. But it's definitely fulfilling. Getting to practice video editing is fun. Talking about deep stuff is fun. In essence, this should be totally fun. But then the whole success thing comes in, and you can't help but feel a little discouraged when you don't have many subscribers and very few views, and at some point you get inside your own head about it. And I guess it's normal to have feelings of regret, feeling like this wasn't a good idea, why am I working so hard on this, no one is even seeing these, I can just upload whatever quality video and... It's not like anyone is actually going to pay attention to it. It's the general fear of failure, and the more I thought about it, the worse it made me feel. But then I had the realization that art isn't about getting views or subscribers on YouTube. Art isn't about success at all. The only thing that matters is that we're making stuff that we think is good and fulfills us. It's kind of selfish and narcissistic in that way, I guess, but art is all about personal expression. If you're making content for the sole purpose of being successful or popular, then you aren't being true to yourself. So I've decided to no longer look too closely at the numbers, never reading the comments, so on and so forth. This is our art form, and no amount of objective success can ever fulfill the feeling of being subjectively or emotionally successful. If anyone else is starting something like this, just know that it's normal to feel discouraged. But don't let yourself get too caught up in the numbers. Do what you do for the sake of doing it, not to become a success in other people's eyes. Success in your own eyes is all that matters. Mm -hmm.